Well, hello, 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 everyone. This is June Ann. So look, tell me which one you think I look cooler in this one. Or, get it all straight, this one. Okay, let me stop fooling around. Guys, I was just joking. Let's get to the show. Hello, 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 guys. Good day, whatever time this is reaching you. And you notice I'm by myself today. Rob is not with me. Well, this is a, I don't, it is a sad situation. So I've got to tell you, Rob and I will no longer be doing the June and Rob show. Why, June and why? Well, the reason is I am no longer with Rob. I had to make one of the toughest decisions I've had to make in a very long time. I had to walk away from a man that seemingly on every account seemed like the perfect man, but unfortunately, I had to let it go. I had to say no. So what happened? Let me get started off by saying, I didn't just walk away just like that. Rob has a problem. Rob is an alcoholic. And I did not know that in the beginning. Guys, I must explain. When I met Rob, and, I, and as I'm saying this, I'm wishing Rob all the best. I hope he gets help for himself. I hope, he, I hope he turn his life around. So it's not a situation where I'm here to drag him out. I'm just explaining why I had to make the decision to end the relationship with him. Now, for those of you who really truly do know me, you know that I don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. And please don't say, oh God, that's all she says. Really and truly, I don't. But when I met Rob, he told me he didn't smoke or, did, or do drugs. He used to years ago, but he didn't anymore when he was younger. He just drinks. And it, the way that he made it seem is as if he just drinks socially. Well, unfortunately, I didn't realize to the level that Rob drank. And when I tell you Rob was a good guy, when I this man, literally, I'm, I must tell you guys, Rob and I had the most fun I've ever had in my entire life of any relationship, including my own marriage that I had for 31 years. I had the best time ever with him. Rob and I were literally planning to get married in November on the 14th was going to be our wedding day. But I had to stop and I had to take stock in myself. I'm older now. Look at my face. I even look older than I normally do. And that's because there's nights when I wasn't sleeping. I was wondering about Rob. I didn't realize he had had a drug, uh, alcoholic problem. I don't want to say a drug problem, an alcoholic problem. And he hit it very well in the beginning when we started. He would just drink. And because he drank vodka, which is a clear liquid, and soda water, which is another clear liquid, and he would put lime in it or lemon with ice, I didn't realize that that's what he was doing. I drink water. I don't drink it with ice. I drink water and lemon or water and lime. That's my typical thing that I drink. And that's to cleanse my body and keep my face good. Okay. But I didn't realize that Rob was doing that. And so unfortunately, he literally was getting drunk. We were trying to keep up and do what it is. And once he was sober and he was fine. But And sometimes he was functional. He was functioning as, as, as somebody who was an alcoholic. He was functioning an alcoholic is what you would say. Because he didn't get drunk all the time. Sometimes he survived. And when I realized that he was drinking and drinking like that, because he told me in the beginning when he met, he said, hey, my family have a history of drinking. His father passed from drinking and, you know, other family members close to him passed from alcohol. And he didn't want his life to be like that is what he told me. And so for that particular reason, I was down for the ride. It's okay. I met Rob. Him and I had so much in common. Rob is a widower. Rob and I both were heavy and we lost weight. He was on keto diet. Our family structure was similar how it was with his mother and father. It was similar. When he, I met him, he told me the fact he had known about my husband and what I was talking about, my sexual abuse and that sort of thing. He encouraged me, he said, right, that it happened to his wife. And so he encouraged me, he said, speak your truth. Talk about what's happening in your life. Let people know. Don't hide behind shame. He was one of my biggest encouragers, my biggest pe uh, people that supported me. And so it's unfortunate that I did not know that he had had that. But that's not the only thing. There's several other things. Because 
you know, I, I know nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. And I was willing to accept and help him along to maybe get to the fact where he can get off gradually from drinking. But he kept doing it all the time. And when I say like literally after he finished having his coffee, especially on the weekend, he would start drinking. And by afternoon time, he was literally drunk. I mean, he wasn't a, a drunk where it was one of those drunks where they're beating you up. But he was a happy drunk is what you would call it. He would get loud and talk and, you know, just that sort of thing. But it continued and it affected his life. And I didn't know that in the beginning when I met him. I know he had told me that the person he was with before left him. And people don't throw away good things. You wonder, oh. But you're like, okay, aren't you and I are a match? We have so much in common. It's okay. I was willing to look past that. Why did the women before leave him? They all discovered his situation and they realized that was going to drag them down. The good thing about Rob is for him is that Rob is in the financial business. Rob gives people stock and stock business. So people call him for their stocks and getting it done and doing this. Rob is in that type of a business. But you see where the danger is, where he's doing things that, and I don't want to drag him down the mud because I don't want to affect his business, but it's sad that that's it. And the other major thing for Rob, when people are drunk, they will tell you the truth. When I first met him, he told me about his wife going to church constantly and da, 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 da. And he didn't really feel it was a good thing. And I understand that because I know there's times when women get caught up in church. And I was that way for one time where they're in church Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and they're neglecting their home. So I understood that when he told me about that, but I didn't realize that Rob literally does not believe in God. He was raised in a home where he did not believe in God. And I thought maybe, ah, you know, it can probably work out. I don't know why I thought that. The second time I went on a date after we had met, I was listening to a sermon where they say, if the man does certain things and the man calls specifically drinking and he does, don't waste your time. You think it's going to work, but it's not. But anyway, it, it, it came to that point to where he told me the truth, that he has no belief in God. He does, it's a waste of time when you hear people do it. And I have to say, you know what? I understand he told me, but if there's Adam and Eve, you know, how did we get here? And this is a whole pipe dream and it's nonsense. And, and I understood that for him. But when it comes to the fact that you don't think that even saying prayers is good. Yes, we're on a different account because I'm not a holy roller. I'm not the least, but I believe in God. I know that God has helped me through a lot of things. And so for that particular reason, I have to say, besides the other things that would rob, like, there were problems with him, those two are the major two that I had to say, no, I have to end this relationship. I can't go into marriage because I can see myself being miserable. And the one thing I told myself, once you get yourself together, don't accept certain things. Politics, religion, those sort of things, I'm not messing with at all. If we don't agree on those things, and then I didn't have drinking in there, but if now that's the case, if somebody is addicted to anything, one of the other things I told myself is that I have young daughters and I do not want to set a bad example for them that they have to settle in relationships. You know, one of the things my mother always told me, and you guys might notice, don't see it in the day and take candlelight to go look for it by night. Meaning, don't see that you're heading down in a relationship that is not the best for you. That you see potentially there's problems. And then you decide that when you're in the relationship, oh my God, I'm trying to fix it now. Oh my God, what happened? So, but I want people to know, love is out there. Oh my gosh, love is out there. Do not give up on love. I am not. Rob showed me love was out there. And so for that particular reason, I am more excited than ever to find the person that I'm looking for. But this time I've got a little bit more experience. As you guys know, it's been years and years since I was in a relationship. But now I've got a little bit more experience and I know the questions to ask people when I meet somebody and find out a little bit more about them. So that's it guys. But I want you to know, I am not sad. I'm glad because for once I was given power and I made the decision to say, hey, 
I'm better than this. Let me move on to find something else out there. There was a time in my life when I stayed in my marriage and I did, I put up with stuff and tolerated stuff because I was afraid of what people were going to say. And I was doing it because I didn't want the kids to grow up without a father. And I was doing oh, all the different reasons that women stay in situations that they, uh, that they stay in. But today I was empowered and I had the power to say, walk away from this before it gets any worse. Look, I wasn't getting sleep. There was nights when I was worrying about him, worrying about his life and his future and the things that I, I see that is happening in his life. And I can't do that anymore. I, I made a decision. I was a big girl. I put my big girl panty on and I made a decision. And I walked away from a situation before it got any worse and I was sad and miserable. So you guys do the same thing. Look for love. But if, you, if you're seeing signs, it's only been months, I can jump off the boat now before I end up in a marriage with this man. I jumped off. So talk to you guys later and be blessed. Your Mr. Right is out there. Your Mrs. Right is out there. Know that you know this. All right, guys. Bye-bye.